What if you want to create a hosted session uh, for your friends or just to hang out with people or maybe just to practice an upcoming race? There's two ways of getting there. You can either click on race now in your dashboard and click on create a race here, or you can go in the go racing panel, click on create a race. Now you will have a pop up that says last settings or new race. So if you do have a session and you just want to reopen it or just like relaunch it, you can click on that. Uh, but we're going to uh, take a look at the new race session name. You just input whatever name. If you want to have a password to protect your session, this is where you put it. If you want to add a description that tells uh, the people that are uh, joining what to expect in the session, you can do it right now. Server details. This will be your server. I would recommend to take the uh, one closest to you for better connection. Launch race, it can either be right now, so as you click the button, it'll launch it automatically, or you can uncheck the button here and you could uh, launch a session in the future. So if you want a session in, let's say, uh, a couple of days, you can also change the time at which you want that session to begin. So this session will be launched uh, November 4th at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, let's use start uh, now for this uh, video. Now let's move to admins. Uh, the admins will have all the rights and will be able to manipulate the session, such as putting the safety car out, disqualifying people, uh, activating the chat. They have like lots of admin options. So usually you'll be the only one with it. If you want to add a friend or some certain people as admin, you can just click on that blue button. You can search by their name or customer ID and add them uh, as an admin. Moving on to the time limit. This is where you can configure the time of every session. So for example, if we go into the event type, we do have different options. So I can uh, make that hosted session a practice only, or I could do, for example, a practice and open qualifier in a race. Uh, lone qualifier is yourself alone on track. Open qualifier is all the cars on track together during the qualifying. So let's use this one as an example. We're going to use two hours, so I can just choose how long the session will be. Then we'll make uh, the practice 45 minute. We can make a 15 minute qualifying and we will have a race uh, that lasts an hour. If you want to make uh, the race last a number of laps instead of a time, you can click on the, the laps checkbox here and you can input, let's say uh, this race is going to be 25 laps. So let's leave it as a time race. Let's move on to weather. Now here uh, we do have the same settings as in our test session. So I can either go generate weather, it'll be all generated randomly, or I can uncheck the dynamic weather, uncheck generate weather and kind of do everything uh, custom. So let's put it uh, automatic. Let's move on to cars. As you can see, we have two options, either uh, all cars in a single class or use car classes. So if you only have like a one make series, you're going to uh, add some cars here. But if you do want to have multi-class, you can do so by using the car classes. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can literally just scroll through the cars, select the car that you want. So let's put the BM uh, M4 GT3 uh, for that session. If you want to open uh, the session uh, with fixed setup, you can click on that button right here and then it will add some uh, options for that specific car. If you have different cars, by the way, like it'll open different setups. So now we'll uh, be able to choose which setup I want to have as my uh, fixed setup. So everybody will have to run that setup and uh, everybody's uh, on the same uh, playing field pretty much. So I can choose the race setup, qualifying setup. And last option is the cog wheel. We can uh, input the BOP. So if you want to limit the fuel capacity, add a ballast, uh, limit the engine power. And also if you want to have uh, some maximum tire changes, so only one extra set of tires that people can use. These are all things that you can, uh, you can do here. Now, um, once you've selected all of this, let's click those. So I'm going to go ahead with the BMW M4. We'll move to tracks. So same process, click on add a track. Uh, let's run, for example, Daytona. You can search um, with the search bar. We'll click on Daytona. And now we do have different layouts. So uh, choose the layout that you want. We're going to go with road course. Moving forward to track options. Now we have lots of options here. This is how many uh, people will be allowed in the session. So we can just put it at the max. So 60 drivers are going to be able to uh, enter that hosted session. 
if you do have a race, which we have, we can uh, uh, select the start type. So whether it be rolling or standing start, if we do have restart, this is a little bit more for NASCAR to be fair. Uh, but the option are here, you can choose different uh, restarts type. Consecutive uh, caution restart single file. So if there's like two cautions back to back, you could uh, check this one and it will override the uh, double file and it will uh, put everybody as a single file to avoid crashes. We can also enable start zone. This is uh, mostly for oval. We can choose the pace car. So if we want a specific pace car, we can do it here. We can choose how many fast repairs that we have. So if uh, a car crashes and enters pit lane and fast repairs are available, the car will be repaired instantly. If you want it to be um, as close to reality as possible, you uncheck it and you put it to zero. So if there's uh, lots of damage, well, it needs 30, 40 minutes to repair those damages. Uh, green white checker, this is for NASCAR. If you want to have um, a, a green white checker and how many laps or how many times you're actually doing it, uh, Joker laps, again, for NASCAR, short parade lap. Um, this is mostly if um, you use a track that is very long, you can uh, click on that and the safety car and the cars are going to be placed really close to the start finish line. So you won't have to do a full pace lap uh, just to get the race started. It's a bit uh, faster to do it that way. So there's an option here. We can uh, click on automatic full course yellow. So the game will uh, take care of that. We can enable the lock it up rule. We do have some wave rounds if people are uh, at the back and uh, if you don't want the caution lap to count. As I said, these settings except the short parade lap are mostly for oval, but you can still play with them in, in road and other uh, other disciplines. Um, and moving on to race options. If you want to make the session a team session, you can just click on here. You can also select the driver change rule. So if you want to have a specific amount of time that the uh, drivers can drive, you can input it right over here. You can also select how much driver there is in the team, and if uh, the person that qualified the car must be the one that starts the race. So we'll uncheck that. If you want to limit someone from joining your session, you can do so by playing with the slider. So we'll leave it as it is. High rating range. So there's no limit at the moment. If you want to have a limit, for example, you want people uh, below 2K to not be able to join, you can uh, do so by uh, playing with the sliders. We'll keep it as no limit. Moving on to the car incident limit, this is pretty much in a race, if you get that many incident points, you will get disqualified. So you can either leave it no limit or uncheck uh, the checkbox and uh, choose whatever setting you want. So let's say at 25 X people are going to get disqualified. We do also have the option to put a penalty. So if I choose a, a penalty every X incidents, so let's say every 10 incidents, 10 X, people will get a, uh, a penalty um, for that, which is mostly drive through. Then qualifying conducts opportunity. Um, this is in qualifying if people are doing burnouts or slowing down and trying to, you know, get some cheats. Uh, you can actually put this uh, severe or whatever setting you want to do, and it will prevent them to slow down too much in their qualifying lap. Um, so you can choose that setting. Now other settings that we have, we can enforce tire rule change. We can start the race with the qualifying tire. We can disable the car damage. This is useful sometimes. Uh, we can disable the car decals and numbers and this a lot of virtual mirror to make it uh, a little bit more realistic. Series branding. So if you're running GT3, for example, you could choose to run the branding IMSA. They will all have the green panels and the number plate of the IMSA. Hardcore level. This is to disallow people of running uh, assist aid. So you can choose uh, various settings here. Uh, restrict results of participants. So after the OSIS session is done, uh, the results are going to be public. Uh, if you don't want those results to be public, you can click on the box and you will tick that. And the results are only going to be available to uh, the people that were in that session. Only allow driver for selected league. So if you do own the league, you can click on that check mark and you can add a league. So this will become essentially your league sessions and you can restrict uh, people that are outside a league of coming in that hosted session. You can also restrict uh, spectators. So if you want to uh, prevent people of just joining the session and watching it, you can use that option right over here. Now into the AI, uh, if you want to add some AI to our hosted session, we can do so. Uh, pretty straightforward. We can select the open up roster. Uh, we can generate a roster. We have a video on that, or we can just select the roster that we've uh, made already. And then you can choose their skill level. So pretty much uh, just 
use the slider and uh, choose a range that fits you. And also uh, something else you can do is uh, avoiding players. So the AI will try and avoid you. I don't really recommend this. I think it's a little bit uh, uh, too easy and it's not really realistic. So if you want to drive with AI, just leave it off and learn to uh, not hit them or prevent them uh, from hitting you. So we're not going to use AI for this session. So we're going to go no roster. Moving on to track condition. So kind of the same thing as our test session. We can turn on or off the leave marbles. We can generate the whole session. Or we could um, actually just choose uh, what's the track usage um, that's going to be starting. And then uh, if we check the other options, so we can see in the practice session moving on to qualifying, it's going to carry over. So if we start at 20 and then there's a lot of cars that are running and you're at 75, well, that percentage will carry over to the qualifying and, and the rubber will keep getting uh, on the track more and more. Now, last setting that we have is the time of the day. So same thing, we can choose either sunrise, uh, afternoon, sunset. We have different settings. We can choose uh, the speed of the time. We can also click on specific time if we want, want to have a specific date and time that we want to input. So I could select, let's say July, July 6. And here I can uh, input a time. So let's go 3 p.m. And now from the practice to qualifying, if you want to jump time, so let's say Let's put qualifying at night. We could do so by moving the slider. And then in the race, we can say that the race is going to be in the next morning. So I could put 9.30 a.m. So then we can kind of replicate a uh, race weekend with those settings right here. The last option is to check out. Um, it's 50 cents per hour uh, to buy hosted races. If you do lots of them, I believe it's 25% discount that you get once you have like six hours bought in a month um, but once you're ready you just click on checkout you'll have a pop-up to review all the settings that you chose and once this is done you can just click on buy now and uh, your session is going to be uh, loaded in iRacing you can join them and you can drive with your friends uh, right over there